So we mentioned about the worry of getting sick, the worry of life that many people in the working class are suffering from, but there's also the worry uh, that we all experience of, of the finiteness of life. Do you ponder your own mortality? Are you afraid well, of it? Well, when you're 83, it does come across. All right. <laughs> yeah, of course I do. And uh, Are you afraid of it? No, I'm not afraid of death. What I am afraid of, I think, is infirmity. I have been, knock on wood, this is wood, I think, uh, reasonably healthy with an exception. I had a heart attack five years ago. And what blew me away was that my body failed me for the very first time in my life. That was stunning to me, that, you know, suddenly I was in a hospital bed. Uh, you know, I have a great deal of compassion for people as we speak who are in nursing homes having a hard time walking, maybe your mental agility is slipping a little bit, that's tough. That's, that's what worries me. You know, we are all gonna die and you know, that's that. So I'm not afraid of that, but that aspect of getting older and you know, that does concern me. That said, your mind is as sharp as any politician that uh, uh, I've ever heard. And also just off mic, I should say that, just the warmth that you radiate, and I deeply, deeply appreciate that, well, just as a you. human being. So you still got it, after all that, after all those speeches, after all those uh, <laughs> houses, <laughs> after all of it, you, there's still the the humility um, and just the sharpness, the wit is all there. So Bernie, um, yeah, like I said, I wish you ever would have ran this year, but uh, I also wish that there's future candidates. Yeah, that and are, there will be, Lex, I, I absolutely do it, I think. You know, he asked about my legacy and the idea that there are wonderful, really, really wonderful people uh, who are now got involved in the political process and are fighting for justice. That's a great legacy.